welcome back to a week in my life. We're just heading out to go rock climbing and I'm so excited. I've been wanting to go for the longest time for like a few months now. There's so many different areas to climb and we're just going one by one and going color by color to see how far we can go because each color is a different like level. Yellow is the first one and I've done that so far. We're starting from yellow and trying some green ones. This green one looks crazy. So scary getting to the top. I just got the green one that I was trying to get before covered in chalk and this is actually really tiring. We were there until it closed and we came home, had a snack and it's 11.30. So I'm looking quite tired by now. And as are my muscles, like these muscles here and my hands are all super tired and I just loved it. I had so much fun. I can't wait to go again and keep improving. Just came to a hockey game with my dad and some of his friends. I'm doing a quick touch up and I literally ran out of concealer like I can't get any and we're going out for dinner and that ice hockey stadium was freezing so I'm trying to wear something warm which in my case is a long sleeve dress and some tights oh my goodness you look amazing well thank you Ever since I cut my hair a bit shorter, I've struggled to make it look good. And I did a blowout today, but it just did not stay. And I'm kind of wanting to do a low bun. Changed my mind about the outfit. Instead, I'm wearing this long one. I'm out to run errands and I thought I'll take you with me. I have some packages to pick up, some shopping. Oh my gosh, I could not film getting these because it was so chaotic, but I got some mud and a lot of seeds. Uh, these are mainly herbs. We have mint, coriander, basil, arugula. In a few days, I'm gonna be planting with my mom. So I got all the equipment for that and I just stopped at their place to drop them off. This is my childhood bedroom. I lived here from the ages of 14 to 20. I got a package with loungewear and I figured I'll try them on here so that on my way home I can return them if something's not good. Tank top, keeping this. Black tee, keeping this. Black long sleeve, keeping this. Shorts, they're a bit see-through. I changed my mind about the top. I really don't like it. The material just doesn't feel very like breathable. I'm gonna return this. I'm gonna think about the shorts. I'll take them home with me. The two other tops were good. Picked up the PR package. People are watching me, but this is awkward. How long does it take? Sure. There were these people just staring at me and then they came up to me asking if I want to be a part of their survey and I said yes because they were so sweet. They gave me some Asian candy as a thank you and I actually grew up in Asia, in China specifically, so I grew up on these these milk rabbit candies. And I went to pick up a PR package and I'm so picky with PR nowadays. I used to accept everything I got offered and I would be left with so many things that I don't even use, which also means that when I do get something, it feels so much more exciting. Also, every time you accept PR, it's like etiquette to post it on your stories. I would always be stressed out about posting a story with PR products that I didn't even want. Let's see what's in here. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. So NYX do like, healthier or lower calorie bars, protein bars, triple chocolate, caramel chocolate, salty peanut, 
That sounds so good. Hazelnut chocolate and peanut butter, almond caramel. Oh my God, there's so many. I want to try the salty peanut. I'm hoping it's like chocolate peanut. Yum. Tastes like Snickers. Something I've been struggling with lately is my loungewear. If you guys didn't know, I'm a total minimalist. I want to own as little things as possible, except kitchen tools and evening wear. Those I'll happily have as much as possible. But with everything else, I want everything I own to be able to fit into a suitcase. And for that reason, I haven't bought any more loungewear and I've just been using what I have. And I've kind of come to realize that it's all very old and worn out and it desperately needs refreshing. <laughs> and I figured the best way to do it is to get rid of everything I don't use. That way I'll notice what I need more of and I'll be forced to get some. And something I know I already need more of is socks and t-shirts because I keep running out of those and I keep stealing my boyfriends, which is why I went out and got more today. Like this sweatshirt that I was wearing earlier, it's gotta go. It was good when it was new, but it's had its time. This white crop top tank top. I don't wear crop tops anymore. This can go away. The tank top I'm wearing at the moment is gonna go away, but I'm gonna throw that away later. And I'm sharing this because if you guys want to do like a bit of freshening up in the springtime, just throw away everything you don't use and then you're gonna be forced with buying new things. And tonight my boyfriend is cooking for me, so let's see what that is. We're having bellini for dinner. I could have never guessed this and I'm so excited because it's so good. Caviar is vegan caviar made out of seaweed. I'm so excited for this. We have the blini, pickle, red onion, caviar, sour cream. <laughs> it just fell to the side. I feel like getting out of the house and the cafe that I always go to always has ladies with their cute little dogs and I've always wanted to do that with Rico. So I think we're gonna go to a cafe and you guys are coming with. My next coffee on. I'm just in the middle of filming a recipe video for my Maya's Kitchen TikTok page where I share what I'm eating and some recipes. And I started this page about a year ago. I keep making videos and then after I post them, I think they suck and I delete them. But I've started a totally new approach with it by filming directly on the TikTok app and just making them very casual. And I think I really like this style and I'm gonna stick with it. I'll show you guys behind the scenes. And I'm also putting frozen mango in the fridge. I film it on TikTok using the 10 minute setting and I edit in the app. And today we're planting some herbs. Like I said, my mom and I do this every spring. Oh my gosh. Come on. Like I said, we do this every spring, but I just haven't paid too much attention. So that's why I don't quite remember how to do it. So this year I'm filming it so that I can watch this back next year and know exactly what to do. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it and myself at the same time. We have these boxes ready and we're gonna fill them with mud. These are the basil seeds and we're placing 10 into each spot. The mint seeds are so small. The chili seeds are literally dried chili flakes. And then we cover them with mud and spray with water. And we're spraying because you have to be gentle with the watering, otherwise the seeds will go all over the place. And we place them covered on a windowsill until they start to grow, so for about two weeks. And then once they grow, we're gonna move them into a bigger pot. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I think this vlog was over 10 minutes. All my vlogs have been like, five minutes. I'm so used to doing short form content because I started off on TikTok with daily vlogs that were 20 seconds long. So I'm very used to cutting out everything that isn't necessary. So making something that's over 10 minutes is so weird to me. And I'm trying to get used to like talking to the camera more, explaining things more thoroughly. But I think I did pretty good. And I think it's over 10 minutes. But other than that, I'll catch you guys next week.